don't you just look at me? I was going to be a somebody. One of these days, I was going to be a somebody. Because, well, I had a bright future ahead of me. I was going to be one of the top class surgeons in my state. But now I look at myself, and all I see is a monster. Quite a career switch, isn't it? <laughs> and now I look at myself. I'm a monster. Now eating away at human flesh and kidneys. Speak of the devil. You're awake. Don't try to struggle now. You're already bound down. I was just talking to myself, reflecting, and reflecting on what I could have been. And now I'm just here eating you, like a mindless zombie. But I'm not mindless. I do this for myself because I need it. No, I want it. The taste of th the human flesh, organs, kidneys. I can't get enough of it. That made me a monster today, that might be true. But I'm happy where I am. <laughs> My name is Jack. And that's all you need to know. <laughs> no one in around is going to help you. Everyone's asleep or gone for the summer. All the rich people in your neighborhood. They don't care about you because they see you as a delinquent. They rather see you die than be alive in their neighborhood. In all honesty, that seems a bit fucked up in my ideals, but... That's how humans work nowadays. The strong survive the most while the weak are starved and forced to scavenge what little they have just so they can have a roof over their heads and food in their stomachs. Other people have different ways of living, like myself. I stick to them more. primitive state of mind. As of recent, I am one of the lowest of the low. I scavenge for my food almost every night because I can't eat cows, chickens, pigs. I can't eat those. They don't satisfy my hunger enough. So, I stick to humans, because their flesh is the only thing that gives me satisfaction. The only thing that gives me sustenance in this world anymore. And I've met a few friends as well, who think just like me. They just want to survive the same way I do. But they have their own ideals on life. They feed differently. People are different. Creatures are different. Monsters are different. But in the same way, we're all the same. We are all the same. You look like...
like you have a nice family. And seeing the pictures on your walls, you're a cop. I have a few friends who don't really like police officers. They usually kill a police officer when they have a first glance on them because, well, most of them are either in a prison or a psych ward. But luckily, I have a few friends who are still as crazy as me on the outside, still not caught because people are too scared to approach them. They know how to pe make people escape from their shells, per se. Have you seen the news recently about how that psych ward had an escape? Twelve explosives planted on specific sites where specific inmates were locked up in straight-jacketed, turned to medical treatments. But as soon as that explosion happened, something changed in them. They went back to their old ways, their old state of mind. Most of them seem human, but for reality, they're monsters, creatures from a different time and a different place, criminals who don't know how to learn from their mistakes. They're coming. For everyone. They want everyone dead. And not a single one of you will survive. They don't hunt for food for the people I know in that psych ward, no. They don't hunt for food. They hunt for sport. To see who has the bigger bounty on their head. I've seen so much shit you have no idea. A lot of people will die. A lot of innocent people will die. Hell. Even non-innocent people will die because of their actions. But isn't that the circle of life? Like I said, only the strong survive. <laughs> now if you excuse me, I'm going to be taking what I took out of your body with me now. And you don't say a word of what you saw tonight. Say you got into an accident at your work. Or I'll be back for you. And I'll be taking more than just a kidney. I have to go see a few friends I haven't seen in a while. Tell them how they can come back into this world just like they were all those years ago. <laughs> you have a good life, officer. I hope whatever happens to you stays with you for the rest of your life. See you.